Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, and my god, this game is collapsing in on itself. Seriously, it's, it's, it's taking me so long to actually get this working. I don't even know if you're going to see this, because it might still crash. It keeps crashing on me, I do apologise. Anyway, let's see if we can continue with the penultimate episode. We have the chapter page, Ashes to Ashes, let's go! Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses. Waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards. A Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. And then we get really terribly rendered FMV. I mean, I understand they can't do the whole helicopter shit and fire, but still, it looks terrible. And yes, that is Greg Eagles, aka Grey Fox, talking to the Colonel from Metal Gear Solid. I don't know how else to describe it. This is the safest way to blow out these things. You've done this enough to know that. It's by the numbers, it's all good. Relax. The silicon cloth and the water spray are there, so you're probably right. We've got 500 pounds of 80% nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. We're good to go. Edward, you can pull your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Uh -oh. now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. It's gonna tear itself apart. Hurry! Get your team out of the That was inevitable. Big boom. And then we get if if I'm being honest. Better looking FMV. Or rather, cutscene rather, not FMV. And it's the pillar. Which I'm still not too confident on the purpose of. I think it's just for Pius to be a massive dick. Which is ironic considering, you know, it's a, a giant pillar jutting out of the ground. Very shiny. McCormick, Patterson, all gone. Looks like they've been buried alive. Under tons is it really that easy to tell that they've been buried alive? I don't know if it would be. Oh, hey, Bob. There's well. the essence. Many have perished for it. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Enga. At the ruins, a gathering of light. You want me to take this? Wow, they're just laying out all the information, aren't they? House in Rhode Island. Take it. Save us. All. Sensing the danger, Mike protects his hands from the insidious magic by using the, his coat to carefully pick the artifact from the debris strewn floor. Essence of Uliel. Yeah, it would have been nice. Oh, we get the effigies as well. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, it would have been nice for Bob to just mention, oh, take this artifact, but for the love of God, don't touch it or it'll kill you. You know? Yes, we get a fire axe. And for some reason, they're not fucking around with the zombies. They're just right here immediately. There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy. I like the fire axe. It's very... Um, no nonsense. Is that a rifle? Yes. Desiccated corpse lies sprawled on a temple floor, dressed in desert combat fatigues, a rifle, pistol, and a variety of ammunition. Wow, they're just, they're just handing it out. 
A soldier appears to have gone down fighting. Yes, collect it. Assault rifle, which I believe is a scar. I don't know my weapons though, could be wrong. Pistol. Pistol ammo. And grenade grades. Uh, we've got plenty of grenades. Well, we've got five grenades. That's not plenty, actually. Oh, OICW. Yes, that's um, the name of this gun. Um, so we have the assault rifle and the pistol. And I think the assault rifle can be pretty good. Let's change that to full magazine, because fuck that. And I think... No, that doesn't have any modes. Never mind. Uh, should I stick with the fire axe? Yeah, there you go. Heckler and Cock. C, uh, G36 rifle. NATO ammunition. Okay. Right. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Nice. I like it. Bit of overkill, though, I think. Maybe. There's, uh, there's still more around here, so I want to take these guys out first. Because it's so easy. Okay. I think there's a... Oh. Oh! The Bizzle did pretty good. Boom. That was fairly easy. Right. Let's go to the very end. At least clear this place out first. Because I sense we'll be coming around here again. Right, let's climb up. Okay, we've got a map. And, oh, a shaft of light. I wonder what goes there. Yeah, we're doing raiders. Okay. In that case, let's... Uh, try this way first, because it's the closest. Whoa, crap. Uh, switch to the fire axe. Nice. Get rid of at least one of them. There we go. Yep. They're slightly tougher than the Ulio ones. Eh, uh, not Ulio. They're slightly tougher than the Zalatath ones anyway. Which is a surprise. But then again, it's Mantarok, so... Who knows? It's all a bit nebulous. Okay. Ah. Obviously the staff part. Yes. A battered staff. And I don't think there's anything else around here. No. Okay. Okay, let's... Go up the next one just here and see what we can find okay yep gold amulet let's take that and get the fuck out of here fuck you I really hate those guys screw it I don't care okay we'll go right back to the oh wait mix those together get that and then we can actually do the whole tricky trick I assume we just gotta align these up in a certain fashion to is it that one first? No, that just goes to the left for some reason. Do these bounce the light about? It's smoking. Why is it smoking? Am I burning it? Oh, I see. It's some kind of switch. That's odd. I didn't see that coming. Okay. Uh, it's very fiddly. It's very difficult to see where you're pointing. That opens up the next one. Oh, I see. And then they're, they're, they're going to bounce. Okay, fine. It's a bit odd, but fair enough. There we go. Now we've opened it up. And uh, let's go down. Oh, finally. Dan Christ. I've never been so happy to see the, the floor of screaming faces. Oh, we'll pick this up. There we go. Excellent. <sighs> okay. We finally have the um, tome back. 
Right, I guess we can just carry on down here now. Because we didn't actually go... Oh, trappers. There we go. Fairly simple. Two, uh, there we go. Is that all of them? You can usually tell. Yes, by the sounds of it. Okay. Cool. Up we go. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm not too sure what to do. Okay, let's quit this. Reload. Ow, you bastard. Aha, yes. It was worth a shot, and I like it. It can take down horrors. It takes a clip, but still, they're horrors. I'd expect nothing less. Ha ha ha. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, boy. There we go. Pretty much back to full. Let's reload. I like this. It takes down big guys. Zombies, axe, trappers, pistol, big guys, scar. Or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. Uh, oh, I see a rune. I see a rune upon the floor. Uh, ooh, sh oh, shit. Uh, that was simple. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Dispel magic. There we go. Let's try it. Boom! Brilliant. And we'll definitely. We have three effigies now. Still have no clue what those are for. None. Uh, oh, yeah, there's no, there's no point in doing that. Oh, shit. Uh, let's just get the fuck out of here because I don't care. I really don't care to deal with those bastards. Mainly because they keep crashing the fucking game. I'm not even joking. <sighs> and we're back here now. Interesting. Right, okay. I completely missed this ladder here. I think it's because, yes. Shit, shit, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Quickly, quickly. There we go. Screw you. Ha ha ha. Love it. Right, let's switch to the... Uh, fire axe. Let's get my sanity back at least. You can't see. There we go. Oh. Right, There's something else around here, I think. I swear I saw something else. There's nothing that way. Let's continue down this way then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairly simple shit. The walls are bleeding and I haven't taken any sanity damage. Or barely any, anyway. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna see if I can... Screw this guy over. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> I don't think I've seen one of those yet. Kinda weird. I've learned not to really care about ammunition, because in the scheme of things, oh Jesus, in the scheme of things, there we go, in the scheme of things it doesn't really matter, because I kind of, uh, ooh, no, not equip, damn it, mix with that, oh god damn it, equip it, then mix with that, that's the only way I know how to reload. So that's not open, that's not open, so we've only got this way to go. Fairly simple. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's go with the fire axe. This has stopping power. Oh, shit. Oh, crap, get off. Oh, for God's sake. Thank you. Yeah, I like that stopping power. 
Very rarely have I seen actual useful weapons like that. And actually has got quite a good range on it too. Ow. There we go. Uh, two down. Don't really care about the sanity because I can always recoup it anyway. Right, so there we go. I kind of forgot what I was doing there for a second. I kind of got conf uh, a little bit too <laughs> involved in the swiping. And then I've completely forgot that if you just take their heads off, it takes them down instantly. My bad. Let's do a bit of maintenance. Recover. Only that one. That one. Yeah, but that'll do. Right, we have a door that's missing. Interesting. An innocuous panel wall caps this end of the room. It is conspicuously empty by comparison to the other walls in the room. Hmm. That. A strange obelisk made from a dark granite-like material appears to be blocking the way forward. But the obelisk appears to be impervious to all damage. Hmm. Okay. Let's carry on for now. Oops. There we go. Right. Easy. Why is there pious right there? Oh, well, it's not just pious, it's... The bas relief depicts a sorcerer casting a spell. There is an air of authority about him conveyed by his dominant visage. Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the wall. Ow, oh, okay. Duh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I was wrong. Seriously wrong. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Thank you. Wow, he does a lot of damage. But so do I. <laughs> okay. Instead of putting them as they are, then clearly... Hang on. I just want to recover. Bugger. He took a lot of magic health from me. There you go. Get rid of it. So obviously we have to put up the opposite. So Chaturga would be Ulioth. Oops, wrong one. Nope. Bugger. Ah, stop doing that. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here for a second. I wanna get that done though. Yeah, fuck you. God damn it. There, the piss off. Ugh, okay. So, hmm. So I tried putting Ulioth here. Let's try putting. Oop, what am I doing? Stop it. So I tried putting the blue one there. The red one doesn't work because we tried that with the other one. Try this one. There we go. God! I'm guessing we have to put the ones that they fight. Not their opposite. The ones that they are opposite to. So. Chaturga fights Ulioth. Ulioth fights... Uh, rather, Zelatath uh, fights Ulioth. Yes. There we go. Ugh. <sighs> That was actually surprisingly more complicated than I gave it credit for. I apologise. There we go. But to fire horrors at me, that's a bit harsh. 
Where is it going? Interesting. Now this is a long ass puzzle. We had to pick up two different effigies from two separate uh, chapters in order to do this. So this must be pretty fucking important. I guess we'll just go and see. Hmm. Let us see what it will be. Ah ha ha. Hello. An enchanted gladius. Nice. Cradle on a stone display plinth is an enchanted gladius. Energy rides across the surface, pulsing through its surrounding area. Mm. So it's permanently enchanted. I don't have to enchant shit. The gladius carries a powerful enchantment. This unique weapon can only be wielded by its destined owner, the guardian of the light. That would be me. So that is for Alex later. Excellent. That will make things a little bit more smoother, because it's a Chaturga thing. Cool. I have got nothing but praise for doing that. I've got nothing but, uh, I don't know the word. I'm just glad I got that. That was a long ass puzzle. But anyway, let's continue on. Now we have to figure out this. Right, okay, there's a little break there just to build up mana and stuff. And I've got to, where is it? Summon a trapper. Wait, hold on. There's one check. Drain the obelisk from the dark room. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I gotta get a trapper, and uh, yeah, I don't think it matters which. There we go. There's the little bastard. There we go. I'm always forgetting I can do that. Anyway, let, let me just uh, what my ammo is like. 30. Okay, good. Uh, oh, my health is a bit low, though. So. Excuse me. Oh, bugger. Because <laughs> I casted the shield. Mainly because things are getting a little hairy after those horrors. I don't really want to deal with that shit. So, yeah, just in case I cast the shield. I don't know if I'll need it anytime soon, but you never know. But, oh, come on. I really don't have the magical energy? Uh oh. Let's let's see if uh, just uh, regular red will work. Yeah, there we go. Because I really only need health. That'll do. Cool. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's climb down. Oh shit. Let's get that. Let's deal with that shit. Nothing over there, nothing over there, there's a ladder down. I guess we'll just keep on going. Ooh, there's something here. What is this? A shrine fashioned from the uh, so says disin disinterred human remains stands at the far end of the room, resting in the arms of the bone trestle as a scroll of paper covered with arcane scribblings. Bind spell. Interesting. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Okay. Interesting. The shield of glowing energy blocks Mike's progress forward. Two creatures are behind the energy shield and appear to be generating the field itself. Okay. Would this work? Ah! Bloody magic. Yeah, I'm starting to realise that this guy does not have the amount of magic necessary to maintain this character very much. Alright, let's try it now. It's just a guess. Right, no, clearly not. That's not how you do it. Right, fair enough. Right, well, I think I was being a bit dim. Uh, obviously, I just got a fucking new spell, so that's probably what I have to use next. Bank rock and attack. Right, let's go there. 
the Banker Rock Air Tech. Pagan, 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 pagan. There we go. Right. Let's try this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just in case. And I stop this. I stop the voices. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. Right. Just so I know, bind makes a monster be mine for a bit, so I, so they can fight for me. <laughs> I just take off the straggler. <laughs> And I didn't even get any sanity loss there, so I just got my sanity back. Now, what is this? Ooh, a block of explosives. Probably a leftover from the war. C4. Oh, God. All right. I'm just going to listen to the ominous voice from nowhere. Actually, hold on. Uh, so that's the plastic explosives. Right. Okay. Whoops. Like that. And I guess we have to find a way to get there now. Yes. Does that mean I have to reveal invisible as well, I wonder? Let's have a look. Where the hell is reveal invisible? Uh, oh, there it is. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Yay, it worked! Ha <laughs> ha! <sighs> okay, cool. Now everything's got a really annoying red tinge to it. And look at that, I did need to. Uh... Oh, detonator caps, excellent. Uh oh, what's now? I get it! Fucking hell. Right, uh. I think I have enough to get through. Uh, I'm gonna run for it. Come on, come on. This yellow energy apparently is part of what the oh I survived that quite well. The the yellow energy is apparently what apparently came from um, when there was another ancient in the game, obviously a yellow one, but that was cut out for some reason. Right, I gotta destroy the bridge, but I'm just gonna look around because let's be honest, last time I was on that bridge it didn't go well. Uh, first, mix that with that. There we go. C4 bomb. Sorry, that was my email notification. I apologise. Uh, ah, there we go. That annoying tint, tint is gone. I, I literally had rose-coloured glasses for a second. <laughs> uh, right, anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a mistake. Uh, come on. They're just going to take. Uh, come on, reload. I'm not taking any damage, though. There we go. That was simple. Right, let's examine this. For centuries, evil has channeled through this pit. Countless souls sacrificed to the darkness. Someone must end this madness. A bomb placed here would be enough to pull the already collapsing city down into oblivion, destroying everything inside. Okay. For some reason, I'm... I'm getting the, the thought that maybe I should enchant the bomb. I don't know why... Right, okay. I'm guessing this is not going to go well. So I think... I'm going to take some commenter's advice. Yes, I am. Uh, to... I'm going to do that. There we go. Now I'm invisible. Use the bomb. bomb is, uh, Mike has activated the bomb's timer. The countdown has begun almost in answer. A deep, low rumbling begins to reverberate through the dungeon. Mike has three minutes to escape the Forbidden City and get to safety. Three 
minutes. Okay, time to get the fuck out of here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh ho ho ho! I knew Reveal Invisible would be helpful. Fuck off. Yeah, screw you guys. Uh, I think now's the time to mention I don't know where I'm going. I really don't. Uh, I'm assuming I'm. I'm just gonna see if I can remember. Uh, uh, oh, hello. This shit again. Pires, it's not working. Fuck off. What is this now? Yeah, he's being creepy again. Okay, um, yeah, see, I thought it was pious. You can try to fight me, but in the end, you shall succumb to my desire. My foolish child, you don't even know your own destiny. Oh, it, it, is he actually there? I was going to say, that would be a bit bad if he's actually there. <laughs> right, can we get back to the bomb, please? Christ. Yep, I'm still invisible. Excellent. Screw all y'all. I'm out of here. Thanks for that. Doors, doors, doors. Out here. Did I do it? Hey, there we go. Wow, that really fucked it up. A few years later. Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck. Okay. See, it's a good thing he got all the information needed. Made things a lot smoother. Oh, they're in alignment now. There we go. And now I know what the crank is for. Oh, yep. I could have worked that out for myself, but never mind. Wow, my sanity is really low. Alright, let's... Whoa, Christ! Fuck off. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't have it. I don't know where I get that from. I'm... I'm annoyed. There we go. I don't know why there are zombies here. Okay. I kind of thought the zombies were, uh, uh, yeah, screw this. There we go. Boom. Ah, you bastard. 
Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> right, screw it. <sighs> right, yeah, as I was saying, I kind of thought the zombies were part of some kind of hallucination. But it's looking like... Oh, I didn't miss the bloody knocking. Anyway, crankshaft goes here. What the hell? Ah! I'm shrinking! Ah. Oh. Yes, very funny. Can I have my real height back, please? Yes, thank you. Very funny. Is it really happening? Okay. Uh, the crankshaft goes somewhere. Not there. Ah, here we go. Yes. Uh, adjust the mirror. What am I doing? Wrong one. Okay. <laughs> I'm adjusting the wrong thing right now. There we go. There we go. Alright. Put that one there. It's getting increasingly creepy. There we go. And then it starts again. And wait for it. There we go. Didn't even get it in the center. And the basement is open. Oh dear. Oops, sorry. And yes, I'm leaving the sanity because people want to see sanity effects. And uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, a poker here. That she just ignores. Okay. There's just a fireplace poker here. Things are really going to shit. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah. Oh, hello. I know what that is. This is not a bloody hallucination. Package wrapped in brown paper has been left inside the door. Open it. Essence of Ulioth. And the Enchanted Gladius. Oh yes. Do I have two now? <laughs> I do have two. That's a bit time bendy, isn't it? Anyway, might as well keep this because this is going to make us in good stead. And I guess we can just go downstairs now. And we can finally enter the ruins of Engar properly. But not now. That's for the last episode. Oh, and I think it will be the last episode because there's no many, there's no more chapter pages. This is it. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, and if you did, please like and subscribe. It really does help a lot. And yeah, we will conclude this next time. <laughs> yeah, it just. I think that's a nice place to end it on, don't you think? <laughs> Right, okay. Exactly what I said before. Bye.